Welcome to the Animal Show, helping pets in your community find their forever homes. I'm Danica Collins, inviting you to join us for the next half hour as we visit some of the good people working hard to bring people and pets together. Featuring Surrey Animal Resource Center, the City of Coquitlam Animal Shelter, New Westminster Animal Shelter, Langley's Paddydale Animal Shelter. I love animals and I think every animal deserves a home. Stick around, maybe you'll find a new friend. People at the New Westminster Animal Shelter always welcome the public. Come and visit and adopt a dog, a cat, or even a bunny. They are located at 231 Ewan Avenue on Queensboro Island. Call them at 604-519-2008 to arrange a visit. All right, welcome to the New Westminster Animal Shelter. Our phone number is 604-519-2008, and I'll give that to you again later. Um, here we have, we're going to show, first of all, we're going to show Spooky. Spooky's not really all that spooky. 16-year-old uh, bicolored orange and white cat. What a nice girl she is. <sighs> Believe it or not, somebody wanted her, the original owners wanted her euthanized. Uh-uh, not going to happen. She's got lots of good years left in her. Uh, my 25-year-old cat just passed away this weekend. 25 years old, my old Savannah. So they can live to a very, very long age. Um, so 16 years old, it's still, it's like it's around my age. Still young and spry. So if you're, in, and actually uh, she's, she's great with other cats. She had another cat that she was living with. I do believe that one was adopted out and, um, and Spooky was left. Now, so if you're interested in a very, very lively, absolute sweetheart of a cat, um, please uh, give us a call, ask for Spooky the 16-year-old bicolored orange and white cat. Come here, sweetie. Let's everybody make sure we see your best features. Every side is a best feature for her. Um, okay, so if you're interested, 16-year-old Spooky, she's looking for a, a, a home that's gonna take her for the rest of her life, please. Um, another, probably another five or six years left in this old girl. And um, so if you're interested, give us a call, Newest Animal Shelter at 604. 519-2008 and ask for dear old Spooky. All right, now we have Cheech and Chong. That's right, not the Cheech and Chong from the movies, but Cheech and Chong of the cats. Um, this is Chong, this is Cheech. I don't know who's funnier, you know? I wasn't able to tell in the 70s who was funnier either. Uh, probably Cheech. Um, but anyway, we've got a couple of really great old guys here. Uh, Cheech is, I've got some notes here. Uh, Cheech is three to four years old. So this guy here, he's three to four years old. And Chong is about nine, maybe 10. Now these guys have been together all of his life. <laughs> so um, they're buddies. They're not from the same litter, obviously, because they're a different age. Get it? You caught that, didn't you? Um, but they're, uh, they're definitely buddies. They really do like each other. They don't kind of sleep together much, but they like to be around each other, and they do miss each other if they're apart. We would like to find them home together. Um, Chong is a little overweight. Probably put him on, we've got him on a special diet. Actually, we've got them both on special diets for right now. Um, super friendly cats. These guys absolutely love people. And they're great around dogs. Cheech, Cheech kind of likes dogs. He'll tolerate them. Um, but probably the best thing to do is have a home with, uh, with no pets right now. If you've got one cat, might be OK. Um, but uh, we would like to adopt these guys together. So please, if you're interested, these guys are super nice cats. They're just absolute great lap cats. Um, both, uh, both adults, like I say. And uh, as you can see, they're gray, gray, white, tabby types. So if you're interested, please give us a call. And they love being scratched under the chin. 
Man, do they love that. And um, curious, so very curious. curious. Very curious. They love to look at everything. Behind everything, over everything. They're really cool. They're fun to watch. Um, so if you're interested, please give us a call. Ask for Cheech and Chong, the, uh, uh, the, the not quite bonded pair of uh, tabby cats. And um, like I said, we'd like to find them home together. Okay, give us a call at 604-519. That's Cheech's tail, and this is his front, back and front. <laughs> give us a call at 604-519-2008 and ask for Cheech and Chong. Thanks, you guys. We have got an absolute sweet little cat here. Ah, oh, they're all sweet. But this is Tasha. I think she's falling asleep on my hand. Absolute doll. She is the other half of Spooky. Not quite the other half, but the, the, the partner to Spooky. Um, a geriatric cat um, in excess of uh, 15 years old, but absolutely adorable. You know what? She's a Russian blue uh, or Russian blue cross beautiful color. Look how she's just laying her little head on my hand. She is so passive, uh, so gentle, um, and of course she spayed, uh, had all her shots, been vaccinated, uh, has a microchip, all the stuff that you possibly, all you have to do is feed her and give her a nice quiet place to, uh, to live out the rest of her, her life. Come on, like it's like another five or six years of absolute joy with this cat. Um, you, 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 can, you, can do, you can do it. If you have another cat, she will be fine with other cats. She does great here in the cat room. She's roaming with everybody. Um, so she's good with other cats. She had Spooky. If you want to take Spooky and her, that would be even better. They're not, they don't quite hang out together, but they were. They came in together. So if you're interested in absolute doll of a cat, uh, little uh, Tashi here, um, and she's in excess of uh, probably about 14, 15 years old. Um, she's got years left, years and years left of great living, and we would like her to live it in your home, okay? So if you're interested in Tashi, please give, please give us a call at 604-519-2008 and ask for Tasha, because she's absolutely adorable, and she's got a little punched-in face and everything. It's very cute. Don't forget, you can also visit our website anytime at www.animalshow.ca. The Coquitlam Animal Shelter is located at 500 Mariner Way. They always have animals looking for good homes. So if you're interested, let them know by calling 604-927-7387. Let's see who's in there now. So we are here today at the Coquitlam Animal Shelter. I am Nichelle and I'm going to introduce you to Cherry and Blossom. Cherry and Blossom are guinea pigs. Guinea pigs tend to live maybe around four to eight years. Uh, they can be actually really interactive pets. So if anybody's ever had a guinea pig, they know they like to make this little squealing noise when they want attention or when they want food. Um, and sometimes they will actually sit in your lap and can hang out and actually want to um, you know, be, be more part of the family than some other kind of small animals. Guinea pigs do require a special diet, so um, guinea pig pellets along with some leafy greens and they really like oranges. Um, we do give them some hay so that they can have something to munch on all day long. Um, I would suggest that guinea pigs do have a decent sized cage in the home so that they have some room to run and the times that they're not out and hanging out with the family. So if you're interested in meeting these cute little guys, Cherry and Blossom, please stop by the Coquitlam Animal Shelter and ask us about them. So next up, we're here 
here in our cat room that we've set up for cats that are a little bit more shy. Um, here, here with right now with Amy. Um, Amy's the one that's been working exclusive with these cats every day. And so we thought we'd give you a little close up of how they've been doing. All these cats here came in as strays and a lot of them were very scared um, of people and of new situations and they really weren't too interactive. They'd find a little hole that we have in here and they would hide for most of the day. So Amy has done really great work over the past few weeks and she's been teaching the cats that people are okay because they like giving yummy treats. And so Rodney here, as you can see, has been kind of trained to take treats right out of Amy's hand. Uh, Rodney was one of the cats that actually wouldn't come close to anybody and he can actually scratch if you aren't too careful with him. All of these cats are up for adoption. They do require special treatment. So we do need homes that are quiet. Um, these cats are not appropriate for small children um, and they should go to homes where people um, do have some cat experience. Um, these cats likely will not like to be picked up, but they do like um, to come around, they do seek out affection in their own ways. The cats here would actually make a really good home for someone that already had cats. Most of these cats are really social with each other, so they will actually make um, amazing um, pets for a family that um, understands their needs. Um, a quiet home that can give them some time, so they'd likely be the best to start off in a home that they had their own specific space. Um, for a little while they get to learn where their litter box and their food is and they don't have to worry about people coming and going from the house. Um, over time they can start integrating themselves with the family as they choose. Um, and eventually um, these cats can be just like any other cat in a family. So if you have the time um, and the patience to deal with a cat who may not be you know, very outgoing to begin with. We'd love for you to come and meet these cats. Um, we would consider a foster situation for some of these cats. So if you're interested in that, please come by the Coquitlam Animal Shelter and take a look at these beautiful cats that we have here. Bobo. Bobo is about a six-year-old collie, border collie cross um, with a lab. He is super sweet. Um, he really likes to just hang out with his people. Um, he goes for walks really well on a leash and is really good as far as being around other dogs on a leash. Right now we're looking for a foster home for Bobo. Bobo has some pretty itchy skin. So we've tried a number of different uh, medications to try and get Bobo to be a little less itchy. Um, and we're on a new medication now. So as long as someone's comfortable with giving some pills to Bobo in the morning and at night, um, and preferably they don't have any other pets. Bobo kind of likes to have all the attention to himself. So if we can get someone that's interested in fostering this wonderful dog, um, they can come up to the Coquitlam Animal Shelter and ask us a little bit more about what our foster program entails and they can meet this, uh, this wonderful guy. You're watching The Animal Show, helping animals find people. And now, another pet training tip from the Good Dog Ranch in Port Coquitlam. 
Hi, it's Jamie Kinna from Good Dog Training, Boarding and Daycare, and I'm here today with my friend Sadie, who is a Australian Shepherd puppy, and we're going to talk about a touch cue for um, some obedience. A touch cue is fantastic. It can be used as an emergency recall, a way to get your dog back to you when they start to wander, um, and just to keep their attention on you when you need it. So for a touch cue, basically you'll have a handful of high-value treats, and then your other hand is going to be called a target hand. What we're asking the dog to do is to place their nose on your hand to get rewarded. This can bring the dog back to you quickly and help you gain control if you need it. So I'm going to let her know I've got some treats here. Hi Sadie, sit. Good girl. And I'm going to bring my, I'm going to rub the treats on my hand and then I'm going to bring my hand out in front of her nose and it's, she's going to want to smell it because it smells delicious. As soon as she puts her nose on my hand I'm going to mark that behavior with a yes, good girl, and then I'm going to reward her from the other hand. When she gets comfortable then I'll start to add the verbal cue. So here we go. Yes, good girl, very good. Yes, good girl, very good. Yes, so now I can start, she's picked it up very quickly, so I'm gonna start to make it a little more difficult by making her stand up to touch my hand and adding that verbal cue. Ready, Sadie? Touch. Yes, good girl, very good. Sadie, touch. Yes, good girl, very good. Touch. Yes, good girl, very good. You can use this trick when you're out on walks and the dog starts to pull, just stop and say, touch. They'll come back in, good girl. You can use it to bring them to you on a recall or if you need to gain control or if you just wanna have a cuddle because you're so cute. Yes, ready, touch, good girl. And that's our touch cue. The Paddydale Animal Shelter in Langley is located at 26220 56th Avenue. If you wish to visit any of the animals that are there for adoption, call 604-857-5055. Let's visit the animals now. Hi there, my name is Jane Nelson, Manager of Animal Welfare uh, for the Langley Animal Protection Society here at the Pattydale Animal Shelter. And uh, with me here today is uh, little Mika. And uh, this little peanut is uh, 12 years old and she has found her way to us through uh, no fault of her own. Her family uh, decided that, um, unfortunately, they just didn't have uh, time to care for her properly, so they uh, thought the kindest thing would be to uh, bring her to the shelter. Um, so uh, she is a lovely, lovely dog. She's very well behaved, uh, very easy to be around. Um, she's great with uh, people and other dogs. She probably would prefer a home where the children were a little bit older. She's uh, a tiny bit uh, worried. Um, but uh, overall, we think she's going to be uh, just a sweetheart of a dog to live with. So if you've got room in your heart and home for a lovely little uh, white Tibetan Spaniel poodle mix, give us a call here at the Pattydale Animal Shelter. Now is the uh, very adorable Delilah. This beautiful girl is uh, about seven years old. She is, uh, we were told she was a Weimar, a Weimariner crossed with a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Um, hard to know for sure if that's uh, what's there, but uh, she, whatever the combination is, it worked because she is an absolutely uh, beautiful, lovely uh, little dog. She's great with people, she's great with other dogs, she's very affectionate. Um, she can live with uh, children, with cats. Uh, she's very, very well behaved. She uh, can struggle a bit uh, being uh, left alone. So ideally, we're looking for someone who is not going to leave her for uh, long periods of time. But um, for the right uh, situation, this dog is just going to be awesome. She uh, certainly would be lots of fun to take on walks. She can go to the dog park. Uh, she's just going to be uh, a wonderful companion for somebody. Um, somebody's going to be very lucky to get her. So if you've got room in your heart uh, and home for a, a lovely big brown dog, please give us a call here at the Pattydale Animal Shelter. Now is uh, the very handsome Merlin, and uh, this uh, beautiful big German Shepherd uh, 
came to us about six months ago. He was in uh, very poor condition when he came in. He had a very bad case of mange. He um, had uh, almost no hair and he was uh, very thin. You can see now he has a gorgeous uh, big fluffy coat um, and he certainly uh, gained plenty of weight. He is um, topping the scales at about, uh, well, about 108 pounds. Uh, he is uh, a big guy for sure, um, a big teddy bear. He's uh, pretty fun loving. He's got a great sense of humor. He loves to work. He's a bright, uh, he's certainly a bright dog. Uh, sit down. He's making uh, great progress uh, with his training. Good boy. Um, he is really looking for uh, an active uh, home where he can uh, get out and do some uh, hiking and uh, or maybe do some agility or some uh, obedience work. He's um, He loves to play ball, loves other dogs. Um, he is a little bit of a, a wrestler, so uh, not all dogs love him, but he is... Uh, He's a pretty good guy. So if you've got room in your heart and home for a big, fluffy uh, German Shepherd, please give us a call here at the Paddydale Animal Shelter. Bye. Hi there. With me now is uh, Ola. And uh, this uh, adorable little gray cat is about nine years old. She's uh, super affectionate, super easygoing, uh, just a lovely, lovely cat. She uh, does struggle with some uh, allergies, so she is on a special diet and does require a bit more medical care than, um, than the average cat, but she is absolutely worth it. She is the most adorable little meow, uh, and you can see she's, uh, just, she's purring up a storm. She's just such an affectionate uh, little cat. She's just going to make someone a wonderful a wonderful companion. Uh, so if um, you've got uh, room in your heart and home for a very special little gray cat and don't mind uh, a few special requirements, please give us a call here at the Patty Dale Shelter. You're watching The Animal Show, helping animals find people. This is the Surrey Animal Resource Center. They have lots of animals up for adoption and would welcome a visit by you if you're interested. So please call and visit the Surrey Animal Resource Center. Hi, I'm Shelly and we're here at the Surrey Animal Resource Center. And this beautiful sunny day, we're out in the yard playing with our littles. First up is Charlotte. Charlotte is a Shih Tzu mix. Uh, she was adopted from the shelter about a year and a half ago, um, but her owner ended up not being able to care for her anymore, so she ended up back here. She is about an eight-year-old Shih Tzu. Um, she's a little overweight, like the best of us. Um, so she would be happy with some short walks. Um, she seems to be okay with other dogs. Uh, she's not tolerating uh, the, the rowdy boys. Uh, she'll tell them and put them in their place. But other than that, she's a very social dog. Very nice to walk on the leash. Uh, and she is looking for her forever home. So if you're interested and have the time for this beautiful little girl in your home, please come down and meet Charlotte. Up we have Nigel. Nigel's sporting his new haircut as he came into the shelter quite matted. Uh, he had, he'd also had to go for an emergency dental surgery and jaw surgery due to uh, an old surgery that hadn't been uh, taken care and followed up with. So now he is ready to go to his forever home. He is looking for a home that isn't so rambunctious because his jaw due to the previous surgeries is quite fragile. So he's going to need a soft food diet for the rest of his life. Um, he is still quite active. He loves to get out in the sunshine and bound around. He's been rolling in the freshly cut grass here today. Um, and uh, 
So if you're interested in Nigel or any of the other small dogs that we have here at the shelter, please come on down and uh, ask for the one-eyed Nigel. Last but definitely not least, there's little Chico. Chico was picked up by a Good Samaritan and taken to the emergency clinic overnight. Uh, and then he, he, he came into the shelter. So he's had his bath yesterday. So he is fluffier than ever and ready to go. This little guy is like a, he, he could be in the circus. He actually pees standing up on his front legs. Uh, and this cute little guy is going to be going in for a dental, most likely to have all of his teeth removed. So it's always a good reminder when we're seeing these senior dogs come into the shelter that it's a really good idea to keep up the dental care for your dogs and make sure you're brushing their teeth, giving them a proper diet. Because as they age, uh, their teeth tend to deteriorate. Uh, and it seems to be a common thing that we're seeing coming into the shelter with the senior dogs. But if you're interested in Chico, uh, you're more than welcome to come down and spend some time with this lovely little boy. He's happy to sit in your lap and uh, go out for walks and show you his circus tricks. So come on down and meet Chico. Watching the animal show. Join us again as we help pets find their forever homes.